Tonight, <laughs> presenting his icebreaker will be Sujay. Sujay with his icebreaker. Okay. Hi there. Uh, name is Sujay Kadam. Uh, by now, with my accent, and I look, you guys must have realized I'm from India. You guys are smart and talented. So, no big surprise for you guys. Uh, travel around the world as a part of my job. I uh, was very fortunate enough to uh, travel to the Gulf country of Saudi Arabia, travel to the Philippines, travel to South Africa, then Singapore. And within the US region, also work with a different team from the different region. Was fortunate enough to work in New York City, in Louisiana, in Texas, in Ohio, and very, very small cities also. So all this experience kind of get an added and realize that life is really beautiful. Life is nothing but to reaching out to people, understanding them, and expressing yourself in front of them. And main reason for joining this Toastmaster is that uh, one small story actually. Uh, when I was in India back home in 1990s, there was a president called Rajiv Gandhi. And he was the one who got educated outside of India. Actually, he got educated in Europe. And then he has all this new thinking, all this new culture thinking, new ideas and everything. And when he became a president of India, what he started is something called as a Apna Ustav or Hamara Bharat. The part of that thing was sending some part or maybe some people from Indian culture, like maybe <coughs> dancers or maybe some kind of uh, musicians to the different part of the world and try to show them what the Indian culture is, what the Indian culture is about. Uh, so part of that thing or maybe part of that team was one uh, small group from the Rajasthan. There's a place called Rajasthan in India, very beautiful place, a lot of palaces, old palaces and cultures. So from that team, there was a girl, around like 17, 18 year old girl, and then she traveled to Germany and France and England and everywhere just to present what the Rajasthan culture is, which is kind of very, very beautiful culture, and then showing them that how the, how the dances are done, how the singing is done in the local language. She was very beautiful, and then what happened is that she got a lot of proposals, actually. She was so beautiful, like a lot of people proposed her for marriage and engagement, and she said no to them. But when she came back to the India, all this news was spread, and then a lot of reporters asked with that young girl, like, what happened in the sense, why you said no, and then what is what is happening now? So her question, her answer to her question was that, is that uh, as for my culture, that's how I'm raised, I told no to them, not to marry any unknown person just for the money or something. But uh, her answer was also included that one <laughs> comment is, a comment from that was that my life is not only in a small, small village. As I've seen this world, like the Germany, France, and all of these countries, now I know what the life is. I know what the people are, what are the things, and what they can experience, and what you can be. And the same way for the Toastmaster, when I was meeting all these people, all these various countries, as well as the various regions in the USA, I realized that to be more effective, more efficient, you have to be effective communicator also. You can be hardworking, you can be any person, but without effective communication, there are a lot of barriers, and you have to overcome that. And that's the only reason to join this Toastmaster. <laughs>